have a lot of color in the oven. Right now, nitrogen is crucial to the development of We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool, business, and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Good morning, friends. We are starting research reports today. So Cameron is working on um, atoms, Savannah is working on oceans and climate change, and Kendall is working on birds. So I'm printing out some research reports. <laughs> A notable book. Those are cute. Those are going to be really cute bookmarks. This isn't a real molecule. My baby here is working on bookmarks and he is working on his atom research and savannah is supposed to be calling nana um, to ask her about what the steps are to publishing a book she's on the phone oh okay this. Ooh. what this is my book there are 160 molecules i only got 12. <laughs> it's okay keep working oh this is cute i like this what do you need I need another paper cover for my end paper. Currently trying to juggle all the things throughout the day. That's kind of what we do, right? It's part of our job description. <laughs> I feel like the number one thing that you can be as a homeschool mom, especially of many, is flexible. Okay? Oh. So let's talk about ways to be flexible, friends. Our research notes are printed, and now I'm going to start passing them out to the kids so we can start talking about how they're going to fill them out. What did you say, Mama? Um, no. Oh, I said I understand. What do you understand? She's such a big girl. Oh, God. Do you need my help? I think I need to mm -hmm. uh, print out some more cover pages. Magnesium fluoride. Oh, let's use this. Light through. Oh! I found a new bond. What kind of bond? Ionic. <laughs> Y'all, I made him say that again because the first time he said it, he was like a new bond. It's more exciting the first time. I know, I know. But that's the type of stuff we do for you guys. I have to ask the kids to repeat themselves. Boing. But it's never as exciting as the first time they do it. He said a new bond. An ionic bond. Mama, who's the nicest person you've met on earth? The nicest person I've you met on met. earth? Oh, that that's a really good early. question. We uh, already uh, know the last person we've met on Earth. Who? Papa. Papa. Papa is the nicest nice. person on Earth. You say he's pretty nice? He's the nicest person I've ever met. I'm not the nicest person you <laughs> Not nice as Papa. Yell at oh my gosh. <laughs> you just yell at us sometimes. I yell at you sometimes? Is it? I guess so. See how they try to play me? <laughs> Papa's still the nicest person. So I don't get the nicest person Definitely award. Nice You're the second. Oh my gosh. Nice or at least bad. third. You're number three. I'm the third nicest person. Wait, let me ever. think. I am the no, fifth. No, Tia was fifth. I told you guys I was trying to work on um, writing up more helpful blog posts um, or in a format that is that can be more helpful. So today I'm going to be writing up a blog post about five ways to be more flexible. And now I'm trying to figure out what those five ways are. <laughs> I feel like our whole homeschool and life is flexible. So I should be able to come up with five good ways. 
five good actionable steps sure. and ways that um, you can add more flexibility to your homeschool and life. Lunch and a little pre-reading while the kids have lunch and watch DuckTales. All right, so the kids are getting a little bit of math practice in and I am currently taking my talents outdoors. Let's talk about these four ways of being more flexible in homeschool life. I love this door. It opens and closes so nicely. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed us open and close um, this back door, but we had a very old backsliding door and so the kids would have to put their foots <laughs> like literally on the door in order to slide it open and we don't have to do that anymore so yes um blessings <laughs> so grateful for that they're following me <laughs> each side of the i came out here to mind my business and <laughs> this guy he came out with me he's probably gonna go over to the garden and see if there's any leftover tomatoes this is supposed to be my time. What is he doing? Look at him. <laughs> he tried to get over with his math practice by just completing some division skill builders. <laughs> when he knows he's amazing at division. So right now, Kendall, reasonable temperature. What is the temperature of a hot cup of cocoa? Busted him for doing division practice. <laughs> Celsius is hotter than Fahrenheit, so 60 degrees Celsius must be too high. 72 degrees Fahrenheit, not 100. Celsius is hotter than Fahrenheit, so it's probably 4. 35 degrees Fahrenheit. Mommy! <laughs> yes. It's, my my hot hypothesis is... Go check it out. That will work. But whenever we look it up for ourselves, we find understanding. So I could tell you the answer, but you could find understanding. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Um, that star does a trail from that star all the way to her house. Okay, so let's talk about these four ways I've learned to be more flexible in homeschool life. Um, I said I was gonna try to come up with five, but I couldn't. I felt like there was only really a good solid four that I could talk about, so. I'm gonna come out for a little bit of sunshine and get to writing. I need to be out in the sunshine, so you're just gonna have to deal with me squinting a little bit. So the first way is really to look ahead. I feel like I could get very wrapped up in planning out our days. Um, that you are you really start the day um, looking to check off as many boxes as possible and while I get it I get it we need to feel accomplished throughout the day I think that um, spending maybe five to ten minutes each night just kind of looking over what you plan to do for the next day not from a place where you're trying to go through what you're gonna complete, but rather to wrap your mind around what your ultimate goal is for that day. I think that helped me a lot um, so that I could see if we were covering nouns. I always use nouns as an example, but y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> but if we were covering nouns or covering division, um, my goal is just to kind of look for what we have planned for the next day and write down what my main focus is. Um, because when I get into the next day and, um, and different things arise, I know what my main goal of the day is. So if all else fails, um, if we discuss this or talked about this or address this, I know that that is what I was looking to accomplish in that day, no matter what way that ended up getting accomplished. So I'm um, taking like five or 10 minutes to look ahead at what I kind of have on the agenda for the next day um, really helps me. Even now, uh, move uh, being more into unschooling, it, it still very much so helps me because I know that no matter what way we decide to go about our studies, I know what like our main goal and objective is for the day. That would be my first tip as far as being more flexible in your homeschool day. My second tip um, would be to, I know this sounds really simple, <laughs> but to freeze and breathe. I feel like I have just, you get wrapped up in the day and so many tasks 
roll right into the next task that I think just taking a moment to close my eyes, stop where I am, no matter if there's crying around, no matter if there's arguing around, whatever the case may be, and just really kind of centering my breath, if that makes any sense, just stopping where I am and taking deep breaths. And that is a really big reminder to me that I have the ability to slow this moment down so that I can make good choices moving forward. Um, because I just feel like that that wheel of the day um, will really have you get into a place where you feel like you're not in control over what's happening. So I feel like just taking a moment, no matter what, to freeze and take deep breaths reminds me that I'm in control of my next moments and what we decide to do next in the day. Then third, um, because when it comes down to being flexible, you just need to know how to pivot properly. And in order to do so, you need to be reminded that, you know, you are the ultimate decision maker. Like the day is not happening to you. You get to choose how you navigate through the day. And that just always really helped me um, do that another thing I think that if the kids are really loud a lot is really going on um, what helps me to freeze and breathe is I will stop um, I will stop and I'll ask for a group hug and so they all like cuddle in and while we are taking deep breaths as we hug and cuddle together that gives me a moment to just stop and think what is the best way to move through the next part of the day this is a big one for me to look for what's true in that moment where I'm stopping to freeze and take a breath and remember that I am in control of how I respond to each moment of the day I try to sort through my thoughts and um, and feelings and I look for what is true so while I may feel overwhelmed that may not be the truth of what is happening in the day. Um, it may feel a little chaotic, it may feel a little loud, but I normally try to filter through my feelings and my thoughts and say, well, is this true or is it not? Am I really losing it? <laughs> you know, like if we're trying to work through a concept, um, am I really like, losing them or do I just need a few more moments to collect myself and move forward like just determining what is true in the day and what is false is a big deal for making good decisions moving forward in the day and being more flexible with our plans or our objectives for the day so I hope that makes sense and then the last one I really 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 hope you guys are not bothered by the Sun but <laughs> it feels so good anyway um, the last one I say this all the time is to keep account of your days if you have a small space where you are writing down in your planner wherever you want to write down what you are getting accomplished not a whole long drawn-out thing of what's happening but what you did, we have very short term memory. <laughs> I feel like I have a very short term memory when it comes to feeling like I'm doing good enough um, in homeschool and life. And so a lot of times we forget uh, the things that we've done or things that we've accomplished or covered or victories that we've had throughout the weeks before. So I feel like keeping a good account of things helps me to remember um, like you know no all is not lost like we did this last week and we did that last week um that's really helpful for me too because we don't have as many end result like projects for our studies um so while a lot of people may be able to like look back at worksheets that they completed and stuff we don't really look to that as much because in the past i found that we could complete worksheets and still not have a full understanding of that subject or that topic um so i stopped looking to that for um as a go-to for me to gauge uh, how well we were doing um so i stepped away from that and instead started jotting down some basic like um wrap-ups of the day so um just saying we had a division breakthrough or I don't know I can't think of a good example right now but like I said I'm gonna draw up this uh, blog post which hopefully will um, have a few 
actual examples to provide a little bit more context to what I'm saying right now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna go get some water and enjoy the sun. I think I'm gonna read a little bit. The kids are probably gonna come outside, which means that I'll no longer have quiet time outside because their loud voices would have carried it <laughs> to the into the backyard but that's okay um so hopefully that was so a little bit helpful and the goal is to share all the love around here because life is so very full of lessons so we live and we learn Bye. don't forget to subscribe